All right, students, what we're going to do today is we're, we are going to find the center of this workspace. Already we have our border on our piece of paper. We have our two construction lines up here, which will be f uh, a future title block. Um, that's all going to wait till we're done with the project prior to putting our name, plate number, grade up there. So our primary objective today is to take this space and we're going to find the dead center of it. That's, that's going to require us to do a little bit of measurement and some math. So first thing I want to do is take my scale and I'm going to measure this distance from left border to right border which is 10 inches. I'm going to take 10 and I'm going to divide it into 2. So if I do that it is going to be 5. I'm going to measure and mark there. Next I'm going to take and measure, I'll turn it around so you guys can see it. I'm going to put 0 up here at the top, the top of my border and I'm going to measure down here to the bottom. Okay. As I read my ruler, my measurement and math should come out to be 7 and 1 fourth. Okay. Now, how do you split that measurement in half? Well, we did this uh, about the third day of class, and you guys have a video on how to do this already in your groups folder. But here's your review. First thing you want to do is separate out the whole number and the fraction. So remember that? That's the first thing you want to do. Second thing is to draw some legs. Third thing we want to do is take what half of 7 is and place it down here. So we got to do a little thinking here. What's half of 7? What's half of $7? Okay. By now you should have that answer. So it's still separated. We're going to take and figure out what half of this fraction is. So the shop method of finding half of a fraction, just as a review, is top number is going to stay the same. So I'm going to bring that down. That's going to be a 1. The bottom number is going to double. So that's going to be converted into an 8. 1 8. So our third or our fourth process then okay, would be to add this together and recombine them. Well, how do you add fractions? Well, if we look at this, we have 3 and 1 half plus 1 eighth. The denominators need to be the same. So we have some choices here. We can go 2's or we can go 8's. Well, we can't convert this into halves because this is less than a half already. But we can convert this into 8's. So put an 8 down here on the bottom, cross out that 2. Well, what did we multiply 2 by to get to 8? Good. Answer was 4. Put that up at the top. There we go. 4 eighths equals 1 half. So now we can actually take and add this together. So 3 and 4 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 3 and 5 eighths. Box that in there so I know that that is my answer. I'm going to slide that up off to the side. I'm going to set my scale back up on here. And I'm going to measure and mark 3 and 5 eighths. Okay. Now, some of you are saying, wow, that doesn't make a plus, or that, that's not really the center. Well, how do I bring those two lines together? That's where I take my T-square and my triangle. I create my 90 degree corner here. And I simply transfer that line or that measurement down. And erase the opposite line, or the one that we don't need anymore. There's the center of my paper. Visually inspect it. Look at the space above, the space below, space left, space right. If you see more above or below, left or right, then your measurement is incorrect and you need to redo your math and redo your measurement. All right, good measuring.